Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily tarot reading with Ham from Self Love Self Care System on the 27th, Wednesday, the 27th of March 2024. I'm going to be doing our readings from the original Rider White Tarot deck, conceived of by A. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So without further ado, the right here, let's get the cards for today's reading. So we're going to have the energy of the day card, which is gone on the floor. Bear with me a moment. I'm actually going to get it. I don't normally, but I feel like you need that card. So give me two seconds. I back just like that. <laughs> I'm going to get our problem card, if there is one. Let's say we don't want a problem today, do we, on this lovely Wednesday, the 27th. And the solution, if there is one. I just want to give me two cards for the solution, so I'm going to take those. Now let's see what our message is for the day. I'm just going to move this over there a little bit. Okay, let's see. So I got this card, I picked this up, and it was worth it, I think. Yeah, I knew it. Let me just check. So two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was worth me picking this card up for you. The energy of the day is really, really good. This is the, um, sorry, I have to count, I have to, I have to calculate this, right? So numbers really kind of phase me. So sometimes when I count something, I get it wrong, and I have to count it again. So bear with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is nine. It's the nine. It's the nine of cups. Now, guys, this is good. If you've watched Monday, Tuesday's reading, you'll know where I'm at. But if you haven't, I'm just going to take you through it. There is a culmination happening. And due to yesterday's reading, I feel that it's a culmination in all your life areas. It's a really good space to be in, right? You're literally in the place where everything is coming to an ending. Now, endings sound tricky and tough, don't they? However, what we're looking at here is an ending and a beginning. So a new start is being highlighted for you. Um, yeah, bear with me just a moment. I'm actually just gonna go and close the blind because you're literally getting the sun on you on me. Give me two seconds. I truly really hope that makes a bit of a difference. <laughs> I don't know if it does. Okay, so you're literally the energy and the vibration that you're moving into. and. And it's kind of, so the angels are sort of showing me it's a new trajectory that is opening up. And I feel this is for the collective and I feel this is like an energy that is for everyone. And it's going to recharge you, recalibrate you, reconfigure you. I'm really intrigued. I've just realized what I'm saying. We are literally about to go into Mercury retrograde. And though those words, recharge, recalibrate, reconfigure, they are synonymous with the retrograde. And I didn't even think about it until I just said it. So there is something new being brought through. And as I say, because it's a nine, it's the end of something and the beginning of something else. And you are highlighted in that. Now, I do feel that it means that on some level, there's going to be a new beginning across the board for you. I think that's going to be, because um, kind of how I'm getting this is that there's going to be a change on a divine level. So you're going to be, this is quite spiritual in a lot of ways. You're going to be looking at the world in a different way. You're going to be raising your vibration. There's a strength to this. You're going to be, be feeling secure, okay? So the energy and the vibration of this is security and safety, which I think is really important right now for those of you listening, okay? I think you're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to feel, you're not going to feel that tethering that you have become so accustomed to. So the energy of today is, it's like you're gonna to start to feel, you know they say when um, sailors get close to land, they see signs of life, yeah? It's like that. This week is really strong in the energy and the vibration of starting to see signs of where you're going, who you're gonna be, what's going to change in your life and what's going to get better as well. There's a peace element to this too. And the other thing the angels are telling me to say to you is remember because of the new, not new, full moon, the full moon on Monday. You don't think I did these reports as well, would you? A full moon has illuminated something for you that you need to deal with on the relationship level because remember that it's the Libra full moon and Libra is ruled by Venus, which is about love. So that's coming in, okay? So let's see if there's a problem. Um, there is a little bit of a, <laughs> there is a little bit of a problem, okay? So you've got this ending, which is fine, okay? And it is good. And the minute I looked at this, I wanted to see this as a positive, but actually the angels have told me it's not a positive because you're 
okay this is only if you resonate with this because some of you won't resonate with this at all and it will only be this energy you're in and you don't really fall into this but if you're falling into this what they're telling me to say to you is be very aware because they're showing you this that you don't run away from a pain story and charge ahead without dealing with what the pain was very 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 key here um, because how they're saying it to me is it's like you think, okay, you've got the go ahead, you've got the green lights, so you're going to run. But they're telling me to say, be very, very, uh, I suppose they're saying measured, intentional, watch what you're doing, check in where you're going and make sure that where you're going makes sense. Because this shows me blind faith, blind rushing. And look, I'm not saying blind faith isn't a good thing because sometimes it can be a really, really good thing. But in this scenario here, it could kind of make you come unstuck, but not in a good way. So you're, where you need to be fixed and, and not fixed, fixed isn't the right word. So let's say in position. So if it makes you come unstuck from your clarity, you may go off without seeing the full picture. I hope that makes sense because that's how they're, they're showing it to me. They're showing me it on the level of be aware that running away from pain, ah, oh, I get it now, will only bring it to you. It will, it will stay with you, right? So they're saying deal with it so it doesn't stay with you and it doesn't come with you, okay? So right, we've got two cards for the solution. So let's see. That's really interesting. We've got two cards for the solution because you've got, right, Knight of Swords, and I said about the pain, didn't I? And then you've got the King of Swords and Swords. Now, remember I said about the pain and bringing it with you and not being in strong enough energy? This is you, the solution is to be strong, to deal with the pain, to let the things go that don't need to come with you. It's really clear, the angels are showing me it. They're showing me like a box, okay? And they're showing me all these things you put in this box. Pain, they're showing me upset they're showing me discord they're showing me things like divorce um uh dis disconnecting job situations they're showing me this box is full of things okay but what they're telling me is that for many of you you want to just shut the box and run straight ahead but what they're doing is they're showing me the box lid open and they're showing me you taking these things dealing with them and then planting them in the ground so that the nature spirits Gaia can transmute them and turn them into love. Because they're saying to me that if you take those things with you, you will not, you, you won't, you'll recycle these experiences. You'll go back around. I hope that makes sense. So this is why you want to go into the king energy. The king is, the king of swords will cut the pain away. Will know what he, she, because it's not gendered, will release, need to, or whatever you like, um, identify as. But, you know, we'll know what they want to release and we'll be able to do that. There won't be any question around that, okay? And then the other card you've got is... We've well, got the Nine of Wands. And it's interesting because sometimes when the Nine of Wands come up, it comes up with the energy and the vibration of pain and uh, difficulties that although you've got all this and you're coming to the end of something, it was a difficult time you're coming to the end of. But actually, the angels are saying to me to tell you something else. So you've got the nine of pentacles, right, previously. And if you haven't seen the readings for the earlier parts of the week, please check them out. Then you've got the nine of cups. Now you've got the nine of wands. What did I tell you? Everything's coming. There's endings in all your life areas. The change is coming. The change is greater than you may have expected. But, it, but you do need to be in your strong, powerful energy, moving away from the old darkness into the light. And I, I'm going to like fess up a little bit myself here, right? Sometimes it's really easy to hold on to the past and the decisions you chose to make that weren't maybe accurate. And maybe you could have done something a bit differently. But this isn't the time to beat yourself up about those or to keep bringing them up. It's about moving forward instead. And so the angels are saying to me to say to you guys, look, it's going to be okay. Just open yourself up to the gift around this as opposed to the trickery that might be around it, the difficulty around it you want to get away from. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope you got some inspiration and information from today's reading. So have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. The... 
27th of March. Um, I'm sending you all so much love. Do give me a thumbs up if you've got this far. I'd be really, really grateful. And please do feel or consider subscribing because I'd love to have you on board. If you are interested in a reading with me, I'm doing these brand new readings that are soul readings, angel soul readings. They are 30 minute readings. They're written or audio and you literally get them sent to you. You can ask a question and I can do the um, connection for you and find out the information you need to know through them. They are pretty good value as well. So I would check out my website, which is www.selfloveselfcaresystem.com if you haven't checked it out already. And also, if you're interested in another kind of a bigger style reading, I did a reading which I posted on Saturday, which is a pick a card and it's a message your heart wants to know. Do check it out. It's going to come up somewhere here at the end of the video and you can click on that and check it out when you have a moment. Sending you all so much love. Namaste. Have a beautiful Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.